Have you ever went to bed? You're tired. You watch TV a little bit. You're tired. You stayed up probably a little bit too late. You hit the remote. Everything's all set to go for a good night's sleep. And just before, I mean, just before you drift off, it starts. It starts. You have no clue what is coming, but it starts. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. And I'm laying there. No. 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 Yeah. Got me a cricket inside the cabin. There's nothing worse, man. There's nothing worse. Because you know you ain't going to find it. But you're still going to get up. You're going to turn on the lights and you're going to look for it. And as soon as that light goes on, you cheap, cheap, cheap it. He's got a little button on his little cricket lips. (laughs) A little button and he shuts up. I know they rub their legs together, but I'm just giving you, you know, he shuts up. So you turn the light back off, but you're still standing there. And he don't do nothing. See, very well, maybe he's done for the night. There ain't no other crickets talking to him. So he gave up. He went to bed. Now I'm going to bed. Nope. As soon as you get back in, get the covers over you. Cheep, 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 cheep. Cheep, 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 cheep. All night long. Oh, my God. You know, you could go camping outside in a tent, and there's 100,000 crickets, and it don't bother you. It's music. It helps you go to sleep. But you get one of them buggers in your house. It's on. It is on. So I wake up this morning, you know, you know eventually you fall asleep. But it takes a long time because he is in my doghouse okay he's not out there where he belongs but my luck changed here about 20 minutes ago i turned around in this very chair and out of the corner of this eye i seen him i seen him there on the floor just sitting there staring at me doing giving me that cricket eye (laughs) have you ever had the cricket eye It's like, what you going to do about it? That's what he's thinking. I, I, I can tap into the cricket's brain, and he's looking at me. I'm here. What you going to do, tough guy? You know what I did? <laughs> I know I ain't going to catch no cricket. As soon as I bend over to pick him up, he's going to jump, and then he's going to run away, and I ain't going to catch him. So I get me a coffee can. I'm going to trap him. I'm going to trap Mr. Jimmy the Cricket. And I'm going to put him outside because you don't, you don't kill a cricket. If you kill a cricket, you're going to feel guilty all day because that cricket ain't. All he did was keep you up. You want to kill him. He ain't a mouse, though, and he ain't a cockroach, so you ain't going to kill him. You're going to put him outside. You're going to meet up with all his little chirping buddies. So I get my coffee can. My plan, which I didn't really have a plan, was to put him, he's right there in the middle of the floor, right there. Just put the can over him. No, that was a stupid plan. Because now I got to get like a piece of paper to slip in there and flip the can. But I got to be bending over while I'm doing that. My back could go out, you know. Long story short, The little bastard got away, and he's behind the refrigerator right now. Right now, and I ain't pulling that out. I 
thought I had snakes in the house. Well, that's proof that I don't, because they would eat them. Maybe I got to go out today, find a snake, put them in the house, because that's going to take care of it. When you live in the, when you live out like this in the national forest, you're going to get critters all the time coming in, whether it be mice. I've had snakes come in. That's real fun when one of them come in. Because even though they're not venomous, you know, I haven't had a venomous, uh, there are venomous snakes around. I haven't had one in, oh, no, I had a copperhead in here once, one time. Seen him right off the bat. But usually it's the black rat snakes that'll come in. And you just don't want them crawling around in here, man. Can you imagine sitting on a toilet? You're in there. Maybe you brought the paper. I don't know if anybody even reads them anymore. You're sitting there. And you feel something on your left butt cheek tickling. You kind of reach down and scratch it. Does it again. You're like, what the heck? You look down, and there's Mr. Snake. Nobody wants that. Woo! That is the worst nightmare of anybody on earth. And they'll come up through the toilet. They will. They'll they'll swim up your pipes, especially if you got a septic tank. They can get up in there. Then they can, they can drive the Hershey Bar Highway all the way up into your pot. Can you imagine? I'm giving you guys the heebie-jeebies. Can you imagine sitting on the pot? And your little ticky little tickle on your honey, and stand up, and that's there. I ain't afraid of snakes, but I don't cotton to them being in my toilet. So I try to make sure I get them out. And I think we had two incidents here last year. They they got in the dog apartment. Uh, he didn't go. I was chasing him. He was outside. Waldo, when he sees a snake, they just they they don't care if it's venomous or not. They're going to stand there, and Waldo barks his head off at it. And the snake had enough, and he ran inside the dog apartment because it's just a doggy door there. And he got up inside the wall. I made a video of it. He got up inside the wall, and I had to get the, th uh, you know, I invest in snake tongs. They, they make the job a lot easier. And then I got these little laundry baskets that are perfect. I'll get them with the snake tongs, put them in there. But them rat snakes, you know, they can get five feet, six feet long, and they're strong. So you better, if you can get his head with the snake tongs, you can grab him. And then he's going to wrap around your arm. Then you got him. Then he's going to poop on you. But those things, you got to take far away because they will come back and they can be aggressive and they will bite you and it hurts. Been bit by them. Uh, you just want to make sure you clean the wound. They're not venomous, but they're going to defend themselves. And, but I don't want them in here. Uh, let's see. Had a possum come in. This wasn't, wasn't here. When I first moved here, I was staying with a friend about 25 miles from here. And this guy would sleep through a hurricane. I mean, I would hear stuff rattling around in the kitchen for days. You know, eventually I got a fifth wheel and I was outside. But I would hear stuff in the kitchen. And it was coming from under the sink. There was jars rattling around. I'm thinking there's a rat, and I ain't going to sit there and listen to that, or a mouse. So I opened the cupboard doors under there, and there's a raccoon, or not a raccoon, a possum. A possum under there. And them things are, you know, they'll bite you. They're mean. So finally got him. There was a bass net, and I got him into the bass net and got him out of there. The next day, the dude come back in. So we went on a search for the hole where they were coming in, found it, got that blocked, but man. And his house, like mine, sat vacant for years. So he, there was a lot of work to do on that. That seems to be a common thing around here in these parts. You'll find all these abandoned houses. There's probably a dozen on this road alone. The people die, the family don't want anything, or they're too lazy to do anything with it, or they don't want to do anything with it. So it sits and it decays and goes bad. That's how I got this place. The people died. It sat, I think, two to three years. 
All the pipes froze, burst. It was PVC pipe. Had to take all that stuff out. I gutted all the electrical uh, after several years of work, and I'm still working on it. You know, it's livable, very livable now. But you got to stay up on it. You want to keep the critters out, but, you know, you open the door, there's a cricket, and he's going to go in. He's curious. Wouldn't you be if you was a cricket? Want to come in there and see what's going on? But he's in here right now. I know his last known location. Brewster don't care. If, if it's a mouse, she'll catch a mouse. That's my dog, Rooster. She's a good mouser. All I got to say is there's a creature. Probably come running now. She'll go after it. She catches them most of the time. She ain't going to fool no cricket. There's just no reward in it for her. I guess. I don't have her trained well enough. I don't know. She ain't going to mess with no cricket. But I got to catch them. I'm on a mission today. And if I do, I'm going I'm to go buy a lottery ticket, man. Oh, cricket in the night. Man, what's next? You just never know. When you go to bed at night, are, are you going to get a good night's sleep? Or are you going to be woke up in the middle of the night by blood-curdling barks? You never know what's going to happen. But it sure makes life interesting. I ain't complaining. I love it. Get a darn coffee right here. If you didn't see yesterday afternoon's video, that's right. Yesterday afternoon, I'm going to be putting up a morning video, morning podcast, and an afternoon podcast. The last one, the afternoon one last night did very well. More people are up. More people are seeing it. I'm going to be putting this up probably, what is it now? It's 730. So this will be up by 8 o'clock. I think that's a good time. Everybody's up. And when you put one up, and I think YouTube has a lot to do with this. If you put one up very early where nobody's up that initial viewing that initial hour that's the best you're getting usually that's the way it's been working for me uh, I don't know so I'm going to put them up a little later and then we'll put another one up about 4 o'clock 5 o'clock in the afternoon we'll try that for a while if you guys like it let me know uh, these are easy to do so it ain't no big, it's just coming up with what you're going to, you know, what's what's today going to be about? I don't know. This is not what I planned. I planned, we was going to go shopping this morning. Yeah, I was going to pull up the Amazon browser. And let me tell you, there's some good deals on there this morning. If you get on there and you click on today's deals, there's a 43-inch TV. Got all the bells and whistles for $99. 43-inch TV. And there is a 32-pack AAA batteries. 32-pack. It's like 40, 50% off. Eleven ninety nine. And if you want the double A's, it's thirteen ninety nine. As soon as I get off here, I'm gonna order them double or the, the bigger ones, the double A's. I'm gonna order that because that's a good deal. You can't go no store here in town and get 32 batteries. For $13.99. Got to look at them daily deals on there. And then click on the ones that are 40, 50% off. You get some deals. But I couldn't get the browser to work right. I'd get it up here on the program. But there was no thing, you know, to scroll. I couldn't find the thing. So I got to do watch some more videos. Figure out how to do that. Then we can go shopping sometime. Thanks for watching. We'll see you this afternoon. Happy trails.